temperature coefficient of resistance. Aim of the experiment is to determine the resistance of a given resistor in different temperature and hence to find the temperature coefficient of resistance using the relation Xt is equal to X0 into 1 plus alpha T. Where Xt is equal to resistance of wire at T degree Celsius and X0 is equal to resistance of wire at 0 degree Celsius. Alpha is equal to temperature coefficient of resistance. T is equal to temperature. Apparatus The carry force to bridge It is an electrical circuit that can be used to measure very small resistance. It works on the same principle as Wheatstone bridge which consists of four resistance P, Q, R and S. Thick copper strip Unknown low resistance Fractional resistance box Lead accumulator Galvanometer One-way key Connecting wires Jockey The standard low resistance P and Q of 2 ohm each are connected in the inner gaps 2 and 3. The known resistance that is a fractional resistance box X and the unknown resistance Y whose resistance is to be determined are connected in the outer gaps 1 and 4 respectively. A 1 meter long resistance wire EF of uniform area of cross section is soldered to the ends of two copper strips. Since the wire has uniform cross-sectional area, the resistance per unit length is the same along the wire. A galvanometer G is connected between terminal B and the jockey D, which is a knife edge contact that can move along the meter wire EF and press to make electrical contact with the wire. A lead accumulator with a key K in series is connected between terminals A and C. Procedure Determination of resistance per unit length rho of the carry force to bridge wire. Make the circuit connections. Set the resistance of the fractional resistance box to a minimum. Plug in the battery key so that a current flows through the bridge. Press down the jockey so that knife edge makes contact with the wire and observe the galvanometer deflection. Move the jockey to different positions along the bridge wire from left to right. Notice the reading in galvanometer. The needle of galvanometer will start depleting to the right side and when the jockey reaches at a particular point of bridge wire, the galvanometer shows a zero reading. This is the balancing point. If the jockey has been moved right to this point, the galvanometer will start depleting to the right side. Even after the jockey reaches the right end of the bridge wire, if the balance point not found, then increase the resistance of the fractional box and repeat their previous steps. Continue this until we get a balancing point. Take the length from the left end to the balancing point of bridge wire. This is L1. Interchange the position of the copper strip and resistance box and find out the balancing length L2 using the previous step. Apply the L1 and L2 in the equation and find the row. Rho is equal to R divided by difference of L2 and L1. Using rho, find out the resistance of a given wire of unknown resistance in room temperature and applied temperature. Remove the copper strip and insert the unknown low resistance. That is a beaker with water, thermometer, heater and a test tube with unknown resistance inside it in one of the outer gaps of the bridge. Set the resistance of fractional resistance box little high ranging from 1 to 10. Repeat the same procedure of finding the balancing lens L1 and L2. Apply rho L1 and L2 of the current circuit in the equation and find out the resistance of the unknown. It is the resistance in the room temperature. Change the temperature and repeat the steps to find out the resistance in the changed temperature. A graph is plotted with the temperature along x-axis and resistance along y-axis. Then the graph is extra plotted to cut the x-axis at absolute zero that is minus 273 degrees Celsius. From the graph, we can find out the temperature coefficient of resistance alpha using the relation Xt is equal to X0 into 1 plus alpha T.